sound channel. Uh, this video is about devamping in uh, QLab. I've been having some difficulties with that and so I figured out how to do it in a way that works well for me. The biggest problem that I have with deep amps is that uh, you are kind of without orientation about when you can actually devamp a cue. So unless you actually know uh, that you're in a section, in a snippet, in a, an audio file that you have looped uh, or set to repeat several times, um, you, do, you can hit the devamp button if you're not in that section yet and then nothing will happen or the wrong thing will happen and so because of that I'm kind of combining what I did here with a special way of notating uh, for the QLab operator what to watch for when devamping. So for example this one here, this cue would play and then this is the, the devamp um, Q. So this one here, uh, there's a, you know there's a description of what has to happen in the scene for the devamp to happen, and then this is how I notate uh, to kind of give an orientation as to when the devamp can happen. So this one says larger than 39 seconds, and that simply means that you cannot devamp this cue, or you should not devamp this cue until you have reached 39 seconds in the play time of this cues playing. So this is how I just kind of um, standardize my notation that I give the operator an indication of how far the previous cue has to have advanced uh, before they can devamp it. And then ba so basically the way these, these uh, notes read is here's the cue when this happens or when this line is set or whatever the cue is uh, you should devamp but only if the current cue that is playing has already played for at least this time that i'm notating here right so let's look at this it goes like this and you can see here here's the time Here's the time for the cue that's playing, right? Nine seconds, 10 seconds, and so forth. So now you see here, now the scene is basically going, and usually the, the scene takes longer than the minimum time that's set here, but still, it could theoretically happen that it doesn't take long enough, and in that case, you just have to wait a little bit longer and they have to do something. So then, while this is going, let me tell you what happens. So the devamp will, finish the vamp that is set up in this queue and then it will jump to the next queue which is this one here that says automated and then play that one and the uh, the cursor where you can take the next interaction will then jump to the next place where you can do something in this case it will be the next devamp queue which is this one right here so let's devamp it so we're going to hit go and you see this continues to play until the end of the vamp and then it'll go over to play this automated cue here and put me in a position to devamp that again and this time i have to wait at least 10 seconds so i'm already 15 seconds into this cue so i can devamp this one now and this will again continue the uh, to play the current iteration of the vamp and then at the end of it jump to the next cue which is this next automated snippet and put the uh the action cursor here to the next one and this the same, same again so wait at least 10 seconds so we're already past that as we can see in the time here we can hit go all right and that's it so that's the end of the the vamps so looking under the hood a little bit so this is kind of like the up to here the video is for our qlab operators if they run into if you run into this so you know what this kind of standard notation uh, is supposed to mean and just for the benefit of the channel the youtube channel let me um t let's take a look under the hood here of how these how these vamps work out so basically 
uh, there are a couple of components to it. So number one, here's the actual audio file. So I'm playing the audio file from the beginning in this case and then into an area that I repeat and use as a vamp. So I put this here 30 times. That's longer than I need. You can you know change that. And I'm always going to try to make the vamp as short as possible so that it goes quickly to get out of the vamp once you get out, once you want to get out, once you're at the place where you want to get out. Because that's the other problem that we generally have with that is you know kind of inherent to devamping. That is that it can happen that the vamp just went to another uh, repeat and if, it, if it's a long section that takes 10 seconds to, to run one repeat, then it takes another 10 seconds until it reaches the end of the vamp and, get, and exits it. So that's possibly can be not ideal if, if that happens. So that's why I keep the repeated sections as short as possible. So this is basically just one measure here that takes about a couple of seconds, right? So anyway, uh, unfortunately, you can't really show how the devamping works because you have to be on this queue and so you can't look at the waveform at the same time. But anyway, so then the next thing about that, the next component is in the, in the actual devamp. And that's, that's a devamp, but it has a couple of settings here that I had to kind of first discover. So when you go into the settings, this is an interesting one, devamp currently looping slice. So that makes the um the vamp pretty generic maybe i should show how to do how to create that devamp in the first place so to create the devamp queue you just select the queue the queue that you want to devamp and then hit the devamp icon right here that's the devamp icon that creates this effect and then you pull it to where you want to actually trigger it and fire it okay so in this case i created a new separate group here all of my groups are set to the mode of timeline, start all children simultaneously. In this case, I could have just put the uh, the devamp queue on its own, but I kind of like to have um, groups around almost everything. Um, anyway, so in this group, you only have this. So now what happens with these settings, start next queue when target reaches the end of the current slice. Okay, so the, the current slice is obviously in the target queue, which is this one, right? So we've created this devamp event based or targeting this audio file, this sound file. And so the intention is to devamp, to hit the devamp, uh, fire the event, uh, the devamp event when we're looping in this slice over here, okay? So then the devamp will continue to play to the end of the slice and then according to these instructions here start the next queue when the target reaches the end of the current slice all right so the next queue is relative to where you position the devamp queue so in this case it'll go to this group and start that one okay so that's the first part of that and then it's the next option that's checked is stop target when it reaches the end of the current slice and they have they so in combination they do exactly what i want which is i'm playing this to the end of the devamp and then i'm starting the next cue right <coughs> at the end of this and so at the base of this is a, a music edit that goes from whatever this vamp does and plays directly into the start of the music cue that's in here Okay, so this is basically just a copy of the same thing and I'm just com continuing here with another bit and then vamp this at the end of that uh, by repeating again another slice that's just one bar long. So it's kind of complex the way this is but um, you know I'm, I'm in the QLab users group on Facebook and there are a bunch of experts there that have suggested other solutions slightly different solutions and i found them more complicated more complicated to set up and more complicated to understand when you read them which i think it's always best to um 
to keep it as simple as possible so that it's not so difficult to solve problems when you have problems in either the operation or you know fixing something or making changes so there are some you know potential issues with that anyway so let's go back here so start next means it goes to whatever is the next queue after this dvamp event so that's important to note because you can't all of a sudden come in here and let's say put a mute event or just a light event or some something else just right after the, the dvamp then it will not jump to the queue that you want to play right so this this instruction here start next queue is relative to the event to the dvamp event not to the target event right so and then it stops the target and continues to play here now <clears throat> when it does that the um, one thing that doesn't happen is the let's, let's look at that again so the problem that i'm showing you here right now is that the action cursor the this marker here that allows you to fire the next event does not advance to the next event that you want to fire so there that's why i have to create this go to queue action here inside this group so this group once i can devamp it i will and i can I, i'll show you you know while this is open you can see a little bit more so i'm waiting for the 39 seconds here right now once the 39 seconds is reached there you go now i'm going to hit this queue go on that one and you see it plays on automated but it did not locate the white cursor to the next place to the next queue and it wouldn't have done that unless i have this go to queue in here so that's kind of another thing that is worth discovery and yeah so that's that's all there is to it so it's it's complicated but the way I set it up for the operator to be not completely crazy is, you know, just like I've, I've been showing you. So right now, well, let's just continue to play in this one. We're now here ready to devamp this one once it reaches. So let's, let's inspect this here while we're stopped. So we're now playing right here. The, the bold yellow line is, the, is where we're currently playing. And so we're playing through this section of music. And we're going we're about to get into this one bar loop um, that's going to repeat a lot of times and <clears throat> and we, we're here on this one where we're ready to devamp once it reaches the 10 second mark here which is when it's when it goes in here so let's continue this while we're watching now it's at 10 seconds now it's in this vamp and it's repeating this measure and all the while we're located right here ready to devamp which we're going to do now and you can now see see it it's going to jump to this one this go to queue will send it to that so let's actually i'm going to disarm this for a moment so i can show see how the white the white cursor stays on this queue rather than advancing to the next one so that's why you have to have this this go to queue on here so that you get sent so that the white insertion point or the white uh, action marker for the go button um, arms the proper queue that you need to be on to, uh, so same thing happens here this is actually just a an actual repeat of the same action so this again does the same thing as what i showed you before so let's devamp it and now it plays here Ah, so the white cursor now went back to this queue because I clicked on it, right? So as it was playing, it actually went to the to the proper spot. Okay, so there you go. That's all for this video. Devamping is a fun thing to do. I actually went a little bit crazy here. I'll show you this one. Um, there's another thing that you can do let's see where is it yeah okay this action here devamp at will before 43 seconds so this is a fun thing to do in this case this queue here 
is chopped into a bunch of different slices and then <clears throat> the the queue that starts f after the devamp is starting right here at this last bit of music so this this little piece of music here at the tail end is what i have in this automated ending queue uh, where is it here so there you see that's just the end snippet here and it comes we're coming from this queue and it's all chopped up into slices that um, present acceptable jumps into the the ending here so that means if at any point inside this this queue here if i want to shortcut and go to the ending i can do that by firing this devamp and again this devamp is set to uh, start the next queue when target reaches the end of the current slice and stop the target when it reaches the end of the current slice and this is set to devamp currently looping slice so it doesn't care if it's looping or not right these slices here are all set to just loop them once or just play them once but if at any point in here let's say i'm here and i'm playing right like this and now i hit the devamp it plays the end of and now jumped to to the ending and that's it so so there you have it that's a little bit debamping stuff and fun fun things to discover in qlab this is all um, qlab 4 by the way i don't know exactly how qlab 5 does similar things or the same things so anyway if you like this video uh, give it a like or a thumbs up in on youtube and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this kind of uh, videos in the future and you'll get notified when i post another one Thanks a lot, and this is Thomas signing off.